Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is Timothy from Cognito Academy and in this video, we will be covering Work Energy Power Part 2, specifically power and the law of conservation of energy. So, what is power? Power is the rate of work done, or work done per unit time. In the previous video, we learned that work done is given by force on the object multiplied by the distance it travelled in the force's direction. Hence, we can break down power further into force multiplied by distance per unit time. In the last lesson, we also calculated the work done on the box by the string by taking 10 newtons of force by the string, multiplied by the distance in the direction of the force which is 5 meters. This gives us with a work done of 50 joules on the box by the string. Now, we are told that all this happened within a duration of 2 seconds. Hence, calculate the power generated by the string. We know that power is given by work done per unit time. Hence, we take the 50 joules of work done divided by 2 seconds, which gives us 25 watts of power by the string. Now, we come to the concept of efficiency. This car here is powered by an engine which produces 80 watts of power. However, 20 watts is lost through heat and sound energy. So let's calculate the efficiency of this car. But first, what is efficiency? In layman terms, efficiency is just how much of the energy that was supplied is actually used to produce useful work. Hence, it is given by useful energy output divided by total energy input. Dividing both the numerator and denominator by time, efficiency is also given by useful power output divided by total power input. In the case of this car, the total power input is the power of the engine, which is 80 watts. And the useful power output is simply 80 watts minus the power loss of 20 watts, which gives us 60 watts. And this gives us an efficiency of 75%. Have you ever wondered why a bulb requires a source to power it, instead of feeding off some of its own light energy to produce the electrical energy it needs, using solar panels like in this setup? It is because they do not work, because of the principle of conservation of energy, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can only be converted from one form to another. Hence, the total energy in an isolated system is constant. In the context of this light bulb, since the total energy in this system always remains the same, if some of the light energy produced is provided for our use to say light out a room, the remaining light energy will not be enough to power the bulb to the same brightness, simply because energy cannot be created out of nowhere. In a more practical example, like this pendulum, conservation of energy is also at play here. We assume this pendulum is in a frictionless and closed system. The total energy is comprised of two component energies, kinetic energy, which is related to the pendulum speed, and gravitational potential energy, which is related to its height. According to the conservation of energy, total energy of this pendulum system stays the same, meaning if the component en energies of gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy changes, the sum of both energies of this pendulum at any point is always a constant. When the ball is at its highest point, at its ends, it has no velocity as it is stopped momentarily at the ends. Hence, it has no kinetic energy. Therefore, all its energy has to come from gravitational potential energy. And this is so because it is at its highest height. In contrary, right in the middle of the swing at its lowest point, the pendulum is at its lowest height. Hence, its gravitational potential energy is zero. Therefore, all of its energy must come from kinetic energy. And this is true, as this is the point where the velocity of the pendulum is the fastest. This wraps up our video on Work Energy Power Part 2. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for more content. Also, do visit our new webpage, www.cognito.academy, to learn more. With that, see you!